While we've been imagining electric trucks as part of the distant future, they gradually rolled onto the highways to claim the present day heavy hauling duties. Besides the world's famous Tesla semi-truck, this class of vehicles is represented by many loud named car makers like Mercedes and Volvo, as well as up and coming startups. Today we will explore the young squad of electric semi-trucks. So subscribe to the channel and let's get technical. Once known as Thor Trucks, this California-based manufacturer has been operating under the name XOS since April 2019. The company's main product is a Class 8 semi-truck that has gross vehicle weight, rating of 80,000 pounds or 36 tons. It comes powered by the X battery of the brand's proprietary design, ensuring up to 200 miles of driving range. Currently, the company is also developing a modular Skateboard X Platform 1 for medium-sized urban delivery models. Plus, it is testing the vehicles in cooperation with UPS and Loomis Couriers, as well as organic salad dressings manufacturer Tessie Mays. Like many manufacturers in the long-haul transportation business, Mercedes is looking into introducing hydrogen fuel cell technology into their future models. Planned to enter its testing phase in 2023, the Gen H2 truck is the most recent version of a Class 8 zero emissions model from the brand. It relies on a carefully crafted system of two electric motors, a small 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, and two hydrogen tanks carrying 88 pounds of fuel each. The tractor's peak power is 952 horses, when it is propelled both by the fully charged battery and the fuel cell. It is expected to have a maximum range of 620 miles, while its payload capacity will be rated at 55,000 pounds or 25 tons. Volvo trucks have been on the roads for nearly a century and now, they are ready to embrace electrification just like the rest of the company's lineup. The first members of the EV trucking family are the Volvo FL and FE Electric. This duo will split missions as follows. The smaller 16-ton FL is expected to perform municipal tasks and urban deliveries, while the 27-ton FE will take up fully-fledged semi-truck hauling duties. These trucks utilize a single or dual-motor drive, 268 horsepower each, plus both models can be fitted with 2 to 6 batteries, 50 kilowatt hour each. The resulting range figures for the Swedes are 186 and 124 miles respectively. The era of electric vehicles has come! Smash the like button to support the new age and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's proceed. Established in 2011 as a manufacturer of full-size school buses, the Canada-based Lion rebranded itself into the Lion Electric Company in 2017, producing several fully electric models for school and local transit. The Lion 8 is the company's first try in the urban transportation niche. This all-electric heavy-duty truck features a modular battery system that allows for a maximum possible capacity of 480 kilowatt hour to cover 250 miles of range. The truck's chassis is custom-built to withstand harsh weather and imperfect road conditions, while the Lion's 8 powertrain delivers 470 horsepower and more than 2,500 pound-feet of torque. Daimler eyes the start of the E-Cascadia series production in 2021. 
And we already know that the first gen model will offer the maximum output of 730 horsepower. With 550 kilowatt hour batteries, the truck has a rated range of 250 miles. If you find a powerful connector, the manufacturer guarantees that the cells can be juiced to 80% in about 90 minutes, which means another 200 miles on the highway. The company has not specified the inside equipment, but we expect it to match the high standards set by the ICE Cascadia. Finally, we should mention that several pre-production units of the truck have already been delivered to company's partners as part of customer testing in North America. The standard E-Actros was first unveiled in 2018 and after real-world urban distribution testing, Daimler is ready to start series production next year. In addition, the company has announced the new E-Actros long haul for 2024. As the name implies, this version will be able to carry out regular journeys on long-distance routes. The official teasers reveal that the long haul will feature a sleeker and more streamlined exterior than the smaller E-Actros. Mercedes has not detailed the exact performance specs, but promise that the truck will cover up to 311 miles of range when fully charged. Instead of featuring trucks by Nikola Corp that have recently discredited themselves, we will look into the combined project of Kenworth and Toyota. The FCET or the Fuel Cell Electric Truck is built on the basis of Kenworth T680 Class 8 and has been confirmed to be released in the amount of 10 units under the agreement with the Port of Los Angeles. Plus UPS has also been looking into the adoption of the truck. Its powertrain puts out 560 horsepower and 1,375 pound-feet of torque, enough to easily climb at 20% grade when fully loaded. One tank fill-up supports intrastate hauling up to 300 miles, though refueling time of 20 minutes extends this capability without a hassle. Tesla semis have already been spotted on duty within the hauling fleets of the California's electric giant. So the actual mass market production is expected to commence in 2021. The previously promised prototype specifications have not been downgraded nor increased. We're looking at a class eight cargo truck that is promised to outperform diesel models on all fronts. The semi will come in multiple configurations with 300 through 500 mile ranges, it is powered by four independent rear axle mounted motors that can pull 80,000 pounds up a 5% hill at 60 miles per hour. Due to its unique cabin design, the biggest Tesla model claims 0.36 drag coefficient and energy consumption below 2 kilowatt hour per mile. Internal combustion vehicles are the dinosaurs of the modern era. It is time for electric models to become their doomsday asteroid and advance humanity to the sustainable future. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to help the electrification cause. Consider watching other episodes on the channel and come back shortly. See you!